Here's how you'll never run out of live stream content ideas again. So if you're like me, you can stop overthinking and start creating. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use YouTube's own keyword research feature and other free ways to come up with video ideas that can help you reach more viewers and grow your YouTube channel. Let's start by understanding what is keyword research. Keywords are just that, keywords that people search for. As a creator, it lets you know what topics in your unique niche of the internet people are having conversations about. Out. Those are the conversation of your audience, and it lets you as the creator put your own unique spin on things. As creators, it's our job to see the interest and use the tools to help us decide what content we make or stream. YouTube's own keyword research feature is on desktop and mobile devices. In fact, we'll have a link in the description down below for more information. To get to this tool, on the YouTube Creator Studio dashboard, select Analytics, and then, when that loads, click on the Research tab on the top here. Let's say I got a comment from a user around screen recording. I could look that up in this tool. Here we'll see a list of results, and this is the term people are looking up. And here is the search volume. This can be high, medium, or low. This tool lets you know top searches from both your viewers and viewers across YouTube, and this term is highly searched. You can see that people are looking for screen recorders on phones and PCs. Since PC works for us here at StreamYard, we can click this to save the search. When you know people are searching for a term, you know that there is more interest. When interest is high, it's a good time to make the video. It's not a bad time when it's low, but you usually wanna aim for higher search interest than lower. The next section, if you have it, is what your viewers on your YouTube channel have searched for within the last 28 days. Here, you can see we have saved some of what people are looking for, but this gives us ideas about what our audience cares about. A great example of this is how to stream on Twitch. This would make a lot of sense for us at StreamYard to cover. I see our viewers also look for Stream Deck. We could think of ideas like how to use a Stream Deck with StreamYard or are Stream Decks worth it, etc. This is just how we would do it though. Now again, these are just examples and you should do what you think is best for your own content. You are your own creator. So do what works best for you. Keywords are helpful. And once you have your keywords, you can incorporate your keyword research into your video titles. I've seen so many people get this confused, but keywords are what your video ideas are. This is what people have shown interest in and content we can make. It's the keyword or focus of the video. So using the data we've collected, we can come up with creative and engaging titles, descriptions, and thumbnails for our videos. If you wanted to take this a step further, you could enter a keyword into ChatGPT, Google Bard, or your AI of choice. Then you can ask your AI of choice to help come up with 10, 50, 100, 1,000, as many video ideas and titles that you can create around a keyword that has interest. Here's an example. My keyword will be screen recorder, so I'll tell the AI to write 50 YouTube video titles about a screen recorder. Once it finishes, I as the creator can decide what I want to make using the tools at my disposal. In the description, we'll have more prompts that you can use to come up with video titles and ideas. When it comes to never running out of ideas as a creator, it is up to us as creators to see what works, what our audience is searching for, and of course, creating the content around conversations our viewers are having. If you'd like to see a video around AI and how it can help create content with StreamYard, let us know in those comments down below. Do you want to learn more about StreamYard? If so, check out that video on screen on how to use StreamYard.